Wait a second. Wait a second. I jumped the gun. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Thank you for telling me about this little ditty. Oh yeah, it's a wisdom gem. Can't believe I forgot that one of all things. <laughs> now we may begin the dungeon. Are you excited? It's the Temple of Courage. What a place, the Temple of Courage, huh? I bet the Spirit of Courage is here. Let's keep going, Link. So uh, the Temple of Courage is probably going to be the first two-parter dungeon in this walkthrough because, well, there's a lot of waiting going around here, like this right here and then this right here. See, it's got it's a lot of waiting like this and it's like this on other floors as well with other sorts of dealio thingies and I gotta time this just right. So I don't blow myself up with the bomb because that spike thingy will push the bomb into me. I'm just going to get this one coming through here because it's nice and quick. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> I jumped the gun. That's what I did. Uh, careful. Uh, traps. Your little blade traps of doom. Not really much doom, though. They're pretty, pretty predictable. Just when you move in their range, they move towards you. Uh, shortcut door. This this place is really, really generous with shortcut doors, by the way. Probably because they know you have to wait a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. There's also a little a lot of jump places to jump down like that as well. So, just a bunch of places to be user-friendly, I guess. Alright. And, hey, how's it going? There'll be three chests on this floor. Well, actually two, right? Yeah, because I got that one there. And then there's two more in here, if I recall correctly. So, no thanks. I know where they are. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, it's Moldorm! But not the annoying, randomized kind. This one actually has something predictable. <laughs> you just have to attack that colored dot on its tail, a uh, colored segment on its tail. Yeah, 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 that, that's it's pretty easy. <laughs> it's way easier than the ones that move around the room randomly all over the place. Those, I've never gotten the best method other than just swinging my sword like a madman! <laughs> Seriously, that's the best method I could find for the regular Moldorns, because they're just so unpredictable. Uh, well, other than putting yourself in a position and just timing yourself when they come towards you. But even so, you don't know exactly when they're going to come towards you. That's another thing. Uh, hard hat beetles are here. And uh, yeah, they like to... <laughs> they're, they're pretty resilient. Just knock them off the edge there. And I'm uh, just going to wait. Yep, it's the waiting game. It has begun. <laughs> Look at all these moving platforms. And there's more like that on another floor too. So... This is not going to be a short one. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to hit that switch ahead of time because I know I need to hit that switch for something uh, up here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. Gels. They will slow me down while I get zapped. As will... Oh, geez. As will these. Yes, they are. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't. No, you don't. Oh. Well, you kind of helped. <laughs> so yeah, this is why I needed to hit the switch. And there we go. Hey, hey, how's it going? Big monsters with big ears are hugely vulnerable to loud sounds. Hmm, what does that mean? We'll find out soon. But anyway, let's get those other two chests over here. Let's read this while it's exploding. Up, down, right, and left. It's not the or only the order of the switches nearby. It's the very order of the whole temple. So take note of it. So yeah, we're going to take note... Up, down, right. That one was terrible. Right, and then left, basically. So, yeah, just that's pretty much the puzzle of the dungeon, is if you remember that. So, you might want to write that on every floor just for the sake of reference. Okay. But, uh, I don't think I'll need to do that because I'll probably just switch back to this part of the map when I am ready to. And here is a chest. It's a power gym! Yeah. Needless to say, there's a little plaque over there that, well, not a plaque, it's a board that I'm gonna need to doodle something. Another random ship part! Yeah, wait, I got this one before. Dang you, randomizer. Dang you. It's easier to have courage across the void later if you note this path now. So, so, so. So. <laughs> we got this 
doodler here and what we need to do is draw ourselves right in between all these thingajiggers. I believe they're pillars. And you know, zigzag through here, up and around, then it goes right to there. And also what I'm gonna do here is uh remember this, remember this up, down, right, left. I'm gonna doodle it right down here. <laughs> up, down, right, left. Got it good, okay. And that is the name of the game with this dungeon. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, green choo-choo. These are probably the most dangerous version of choo-choo in the game, in my opinion. Watch this, watch this. Yeah, they actually scooch under there, and you can't hit them. And then, they pop up, and you gotta kinda time your, yeah, your sword strike until they do their thing, but there are other ways to deal with them, like, yeah, like something like that, timing-wise. But, most of the time you're gonna want to use your sword just because it saves you resources and stuff. And also, I do believe the boomerang will help you stun this as well, but as you know, the boomerang isn't always the most practical thing to do because, you know, in these tight areas, if it hits the wall, you're gonna have issues. Uh, crystals can only fit into same shape pat uh, pattern. <laughs> <laughs> totally misread that. Same shaved platforms. There we go. Now we're gonna see the thing that was talked about before. Oh no, look at that. And you can't even draw the boomerang when it's down underneath there. That is a rather dangerous creature. <laughs> so the thing that is being talked about here is a very unique enemy. And we've seen this enemy in other games, and it's up on that platform right right there. Do you remember the poles voice? Do you? Do you? Well, this is a much more sinister looking one, but it is indeed a Pole's voice. And what you gotta do is blow in the microphone, and it goes, Oh no! My ears! My ears! And then it just blows up. <laughs> now, if you don't do that, it takes a ton of hits to destroy one of those things. So I'm gonna show you how to defeat one of those things the regular way without blowing into the microphone. Uh, just to show you how many hits that stinker takes. But first, next floor. <laughs> the, uh, the square gem thing that we're looking for is right here. And we might as well doodle on our map. Remember, remember, remember? Remember this? Up, down, right, left. Remember? Remember? <laughs> okay, I'm just being weird now. Up, down, right, left, and I won't need to doodle that on any more floors. There will be no more pausing whatsoever. Just remember that for all of eternity. So we've got Beemos around here, pretty dangerous enemy really is. They'll start firing on you as soon as they see you, uh, and you can, you can tell they're looking via that eye there. Yeah, you just gotta kinda play it stealthy and uh, hang around here. Uh oh, I'm just kinda, kinda having issues here because of that. Yeah, um, 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 go, 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 go. Okay, <laughs> so this is the first switch in the room because it's in the up position, and then down is over here, then left. I mean, if. Then, uh, then right, then left. Wait, wait, did I just reverse the order of. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I can't believe that I did that. Uh, wait, wait, yeah, up, down, right. Left, right, 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 up, down, right, yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm stupid, all right, I just doodled too quick for my own good, even though I have it pretty much memorized from, oof, yeah, I didn't think that would work, from having to go through this dungeon so many times, I'm just getting impatient now, <laughs> clearly, and this is also gonna give me a hit, but whatever, wow, I'm just rushing, don't worry, don't worry. That's not really a hard obstacle to avoid. It's just a thing of you gotta be impatient. See, I'm just being impatient <laughs> because there's a lot of waiting in this dungeon as it is. Mm, okay, I'm just gonna follow you around until I get that chest in the center. Now, this is another thing that's gonna slow you down. Once you open this, I can open it from the upper left corner apparently. The square crystal, and I bet you know exactly where this is gonna go. So yeah, this is the first part of the square crystal puzzly thingy here. And I'm gonna plop that in there. And yeah, there's another thing for that later on. 
So remember its location. And if you take it out, it's just, just gonna close the door. <laughs> so keep it in there. Keep it in there. Now, um... I, mm, I'm looking at the time here. Oh, I guess I'll continue on until I do the next obstacle. Because as I said, I think this is going to be a two-parter dungeon just because of how long the stinker, stinker takes. But uh, if you have the thing noted on your map, you're going to be good here. But if not, gonna go back and get that. <laughs> think that you can't go farther because there's no path? What you see isn't always the Stone Cold Truth. For instance, take the wall between the tablets on the first floor. Mysterious. But am I telling you the truth? Who knows? Well, I already got that thing, so I can just... Yeah, just kind of go... Yeah, even that doesn't really work. <laughs> uh, I believe you can actually go bomb-wise. No, that doesn't work either. <laughs> so that's... They are truly the most resilient critters. Uh, Alright, so just watch yourself on the path there. Now watch, see this here? Now this isn't exactly told, but yeah, if you go down here, there is a big green groupie. Uh-huh. That is a sneaky snake of a, of a thing a jigger because that is not pointed out anywhere in the dungeon that I know of. You just gotta kind of feel around here and hope that you find the right path. Uh, I'm mostly looking at myself on the upper screen than anything here. Hey, how's it going? What's up? <laughs> Boing, a number of treasure chests here is two. I think there's one there. And, uh, um, I forgot the position of the other one. Hmm. Maybe I'll actually pay for this one. Just to see. Okay, there and... Oh, it's... It, that one counts as... Oh. Well, I just wasted 20 rupees. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't, I, you know, I even clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, I thought this wouldn't count because it's like the dungeon item. I don't know why. But yeah, it's the bow. It is the bow. And now we can finally shoot the eyes. Finally. Finally. <laughs> and that makes a bridge. Yeah, I'm, I'm stupid for not thinking that was counted towards the thing. Because of course that's a chest. It looks like a chest. It smells like a chest and contains something like a chest. That means it is a chest. <laughs> Take that, Moldorm. Now, um, these things right here, if you shoot them, it'll shoot an arrow in the direction that they're facing. How do you change your direction? Like that. Uh, I, I don't remember which direction I want to shoot them in, though. Uh, that is not the one, so I guess it is right. And this will make it go all the way to a switch that we had hit uh, earlier, which will switch something in the middle of uh, this here, I think. Oh, just right there. <laughs> I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Oh, oh, you blocked yourself. <laughs> you sneaky, sneaky snake. You're still easier than the regular Moldorm. <laughs> oh, no. Can I just like... Yeah, that's probably the best way of dealing with it, but it still uses resources. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's another one. It's another one! The crystal heat needed here is the very same you needed elsewhere. Retrieve the crystal and put it in place here. So, we gotta go get that crystal, and thanks to the shortcut door, we could do so. <laughs> I think there's gonna be arrows underneath that pot, so I could probably just like shoot it and grab it with the boomerang. Oops. <laughs> shoot it and grab it with the boomerang, I say. <laughs> yeah, the, um,. It's, the, game, the dungeon's pretty resourceful when it comes to items like that, and I was gonna jump off there, but that, that was not a shortcut whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, um, like, there's a whole load of arrows, so you can, kind of can waste them if you want, I guess. But, uh, mm, eh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna kind of plop that in there, and that goes down. Oh, yes. But yeah, another reason why those green choo-choos are pretty dangerous is because, well, what they do is, besides having to waste your um, time and res resources, they've got this thing of, uh, um, like, you have to switch items, at, like, say, because, you know, the, they're weak to the bow, mainly, and if you switch to the bow, you gotta go into the item screen, tap the bow, and then, yeah, go to the bow. And that that's not always practical, depending on what other critters or obstacles are in the area. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do here is end off the parts, because I'm at about 15 minutes here. So yeah, I'm going to finish this dungeon in the next part. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.